Hi guys, I wanted to take a minute to share with you, uh, basically it's a story, a debugging story about a, um, a project that, that we've been working on and uh, it's mostly it's just a quick way to show you how to debug uh, React applications in Chrome. So we have, let me go ahead and, uh, and share this. We have this React application called CAOA Prototype. Um, I went ahead and, I, actually we fixed the bug, but I went ahead and rolled it back to the state of the repository before the bug was fixed. Um, basically it's in this thing called the Avatar Editor. In, in the Avatar Editor you can go in and change uh, your eye color. So you could change it to green or back to blue or brown maybe. Um, you can change your hair color, right? So, and you can change your skin color. So those are things that are all editable and those all work great. Um, all of those controls are based on these React components, color picker, that um, are used to uh, choose colors. Obviously we, we give the palette of colors that uh, are available and then we set this on change handler. So the hair color picker, it calls change, handle change hair. The skin color picker calls handle change skin, etc. And these color change handlers, handle change eye, hair, and skin, get a color object, and the color object has a property hex, which has the color. So it's quite simple. Then you can just go to the uh, Firestore database and set the uh, ad avatar's attributes based on these new settings. So it's, it's quite simple. So the student working on uh, modifying the avatar editor decided that it would be great if you could choose long or short hair. And so they added a select control to do that. And um, it doesn't seem unreasonable that if color pickers send you a color, that the select control would send you the value of the select. So they wrote a function here called handle change style. They set the on change handler of the select control to call handle change style. And they presumed that uh, handle the, the select control would pass in a style value like one of the values in the control, select one or two. So, um, but that's not actually what happens. So let's see what happens. If I change my hair style here, it runs and boom, it gives me this terrible error. And it's clearly happening right in uh, handle change style. So uh, there's a problem there. So let's uh, let's go back and uh, fire up the debugger and see if we can figure out what's going on. So the idea is let's uh, reload the page, go back to the avatar editor, and then I'm going to uh, right click on the page here and choose inspect. Now what inspect does is it allows me to uh, see what's going on. I can look at the HTML for the page, I can open up and see what's in there, right? Um, here I've got, there's my avatar. I can look at the, there's the SVG for the avatar. I can even look in and see what the various elements of the SVG are. There's one path and so on. That's fantastic. But that's not where the bug is. So let's go look at sources. Okay, under sources, I'm actually already selected on the avatar editor. Uh, in general, if you want to figure out where stuff is, you can fish around. This is a mirror of your actual file system built by the um, bundle compiler in React. There's my project directory. There's the source directory. And then I've got the components directory. Everything's down there. And there's my avatar editor. So you can find it um, that way as well if you need to poke around a little bit. And here's my uh, handle change style method. Let's go ahead and set a breakpoint here at the handle chain style and then let's uh, just invoke that control and boom I'm in the debugger I'm at handle I'm in the handle chain style function I can go here and look at the variables and you'll notice uh, style whoa style is not a number or a string style is this thing called a synthetic event. It's actually uh, an event that React creates that's similar to the native JavaScript event, but it's actually bubbled through React's event handling system. But uh, the main thing is it has a target attribute, and that target attribute, if you fish around a little bit, uh, let's see if we can find it here. 
uh, it has a value, value, which is the thing that the student actually wanted, was the value of the select. Target is the select object that caused the event. It's got all the select attributes. Um, it's got the select options and so on, but value is the current value of that select control. So the solution to this problem is to change the style argument of the handle change style method and change it to event because it's actually an event and then go to the target L uh, attribute of that event and then the value attribute of the target and store that in the database. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to pop into the debugger, to set a breakpoint, figure out what the heck is going on by actually inspecting the values of the variables without having to write a bunch of console.log statements and things like that. That's really all I have. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day.